Good morning, Howard Wildcats. My name is Davion Bowers. Today's moment in black history is coming from the field of history. When Jess Leroy was a teenager, he wrote a letter to President Franklin Delano Roosevelt to express his disappointment that African Americans weren't flying in the military. Well, that changed in the Air Force in the early 40s with the Tuskegee Airmen. It would be Brown himself that would break that barrier for the Navy in 1947. By 1949, he was an officer, and in 1950, the United States was at war with Korea. Brown and his unit were soon airborne, completing dangerous missions to take out targets and protect troops on the ground. On December 4th, 1950, while on a mission to provide cover for a Marine regiment, Brown's plane was struck, leaking fuel. He crash landed on a slope, but he was still alive. His wingman, Thomas Hudner, crash landed his own plane to reach Brown in order to help. Though Brown died shortly after due to his wounds from the crash, both men were honored by the United States. Brown received a flying cross medal for bravery. Thank you, Mr. Brown, for your tremendous contribution. I am Davion Bowers, and that is your moment in black history.